Good morning everyone and I hope everyone has a very great 4th of July. I'm back with the second part of my little AliExpress haul because I just couldn't complete all the samples for what I'd received. So as I say this is the second part and I'm going to go straight in there and my first sample is this one. It's a little butterfly in a pretty embossed frame. I'm trying to get close there. There we go. Without the camera going blurred so that you can see the embossing. And I just kept this one very simple. Just a pretty little card. And you also, with the set I'm about to show you, you get this little flourish piece. I didn't use this, but it could be used in the corner or it could be used like that, or it could even be used as a tag look because it lifts up, so it could be like a paper clip. Let's show you that on there. See? You could just clip it onto the top. You could have a fancy little paper clip on the edge of a tag or a card. So that's the first set of dies. I'm going to show you what I used there. I used um, a butterfly on the top, and I used these. You get three pieces in this set. You get the flourish that I've just shown you and you get the frame and you get an inner. So you do need an embossing mat to be able to use this and the full measurement is four and three quarters by three and a quarter. So that's a really pretty die, really nice. I really like that. So that was my first one. It's going to be a real quick one today. And my second one, I used this set of extremely large um, tags. Very, very pretty. And also the separate bow that you can get. Now, I know a lot of people have asked about these, so I will measure them again for you. And the largest one in this set is 7 inches by five inches and that's that and the largest bow which is what I have used is just over five and a half inches before it's even made so it's it's a really lovely size I also used a watering can die in this next sample. This is available separately. I've got paper on my fingers. And also a tulip die, which is available separately. And I used a piece of my clear bling that I showed to you in yesterday's video. And this is my sample. It's very sort of spring, summer, picnic, and I just love that bow. It's such a lovely bow. This is going to have um, an easel on the back of it so that it will become a card and can stand up. And I may even pop a little uh, tassel through the hole there. But you can see the detail in those tulips, I hope, without my camera going too blurred. And that watering can, I'm a real hoarder of watering cans and I think this is probably the best one I've bought to date if you're into watering cans. So that's my second part and I will be back tomorrow with the third part and I hope everybody has a fantastic day and a wonderful 4th of July and as usual all links are below. Bye.